Alright guys, hope you're all doing well. So, quick little how-to video today. Something I get asked a fair amount and it's how I tie my fluorocarbon leaders up on my heavy pipe fishing setup directly to my main line. So, uh, yeah, I don't really break off with this probably once or twice a year max. So, yeah, it's rare that I have to tie leaders. But lucky for you guys, I broke off yesterday. So, before I retie a leader, I thought I might as well do a video doing it because, I, yeah, take a little while to do it properly and um, yeah I didn't want to cut it off just to do this video so yeah it broke off we're gonna do a video with it so fluorocarbon leaders for pipe fishing obviously there's a bit of controversy in the UK about it um, this is not what this video is about this is for you know people who already use them want to use them etc um, but yeah we're just gonna get straight into it so fluorocarbon obviously needs to be thick for pipe fishing this is one mil. Actually, this is a new product from LMAB. Japanese made, hard, hard fluorocarbon, um, which I'm really excited about this because it's extremely hard to get good fluorocarbon in the UK. So yeah, I'm really happy they brought this out. Um, for fluorocarbon as well, it's a good price for uh, one mil thick. This is 49 kilo, which is 110 pound-ish, something like that. Um, yeah, 29.99 for 20 meters, which doesn't sound like a lot, but this will last you, uh, this probably lasts me four years, this ball right here. <laughs> That's how, if you set it up right with your heavy braid and everything, you know, you're not breaking off much. This will last me four years easily. So, yeah, we're going to get right into it. you got your fluorocarbon. I'll leave links in the description to everything that I'm using, by the way. So this is the, uh, just LMAB, 100% fluorocarbon, Japanese made. That's what I'm going to be using. One mil thick, wouldn't recommend any less. Need your clip. You snap, whichever snap that you want to use. Um, I'll leave links in the description to a few different ones that I recommend. I generally use these stay lock ones for heavy, heavy lure fishing, but you can use, you know, your fast hatch styles and stuff like that. And for this fluorocarbon that I have, which is one mil, I'm using double barreled crimps. They're 1.2 mil. So. Yeah, just get a slightly bigger crimp size to what your fluorocarbon is. So 1.2 mil crimp. So just that. Snap, one crimp. And tool wise, some heavy pliers, you can't really cut this with scissors. So you need your pliers, side cutters, and crimping pliers. You can tie it if you don't want to crimp. I, prefer, I used to tie and I've converted to crimp. I find it a lot cleaner. So, get your line, get your rod. It's going to be kind of difficult to show you guys this here, but um, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll try and make it work. We've got our leader material ready to go. So, first thing we're doing, we're creating tension between the rod and the line towards me. So I'll just wrap that around my finger. You can do it with your teeth or anything like that, but I find it easier to wrap that around my finger like that. Hopefully you guys, I don't know if you can see the braid, but there's the braid anyway. We're going to take our fluorocarbon leader, put this basically at a cross section with the braid there. This is that FG not what I'm doing by the way. So we've got the tension, we've got the fluorocarbon leader at a cross section with the braid and we're just gonna go, the, the, lead, the fluorocarbon leader is under the braid there. So we're gonna go keeping a lot of tension over with the leader like so and then under with the leader it loops around nicely like that and we're just going to keep repeating that over under over under over under and i'll probably do that 10 or 15 times maybe more i usually just do it on the length of the knot to be fair i usually like a good um inch or so so we'll just keep doing that over under in it keeping as much tension as we can on there Okay, so that's about as much as I would typically do. So as you can see there, got about an inch there. There's probably 20 turns on that. So keeping that tension as much as you can. We're gonna do a half hitch. Just to keep everything nice and tight. So, 
So that's what it kind of looks like now. Got the one and a half inch. We've got all the coils on there. And we're, we're basically going to pull this as tight as we can now. So keep in tension. I've not got the biggest space here to be filming this, so it's really awkward to be fair. I'm normally tying these outside, but um, it's a bit windy today. So we're just going to get some nice tension between the round, round your hand on the braid and the leader and just pull that as tight as you can. It does cut into your hand a bit if you're doing it like this, you're probably better doing it with something, but you want to pull all those coils into the braid, you want them to dig into the braid really. So, pulling that nice and tight, making sure that them coils are digging in. And add a second half itch, and then pull it tight again. So this is what it's kind of looking like now, the knot's nice, tight, neat. Main line's directly in a straight line with the leader there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much done. Just gonna cut those tag ends super close to it. And that, yeah, cast through the rod eyes really, really easily. And perfect little knot. Just cut those tag ends. And there's the FG knot finished. Perfect for casting free rod rings if you're having a long leader like I do. And um, yeah, better than having a swivel in my opinion. You know, much more fluid. You catch loads less weed on that. Cast through your rings, like I say, you can have a longer leader, so. There's the knot, braid to, braid to fluorocarbon. I will show you an easier one as well, but we'll just um, take all it. I usually have about three for a leader. Um, I just find it better having a longer leader, basically. So I'll cut that with the pliers, like I say, you can't really do it with scissors. Take our 1.2 mil crimp, wherever I put it. Crimp onto the leader, then your snap's going on. I'm just going to put the leader back through the crimp on the opposite, on the other side of the barrel, like so. I like to leave like a tiny little tag end. You can leave a bit more and blob it and stuff like that. Or you can push it through more, blob it and then pull it back tight. But yeah, I don't, I don't find the need to blob it crimping. I do if I'm not in, but yeah, if I'm crimping like this, I just, um, I'm happy with the crimp. So I'll pull the crimp tight to the snap so the snap's not moving too freely. And there we go, crimped. Got that long leader. So look how long that leader is. That's, that's typically the length I go for. You can't really do that with um, you know, wire and stuff like that. That's one of the reasons I like using this long leader. And yeah, straight to main line. Super sleek, works really well. And yeah, you can't even see the end of that, <laughs> but you get the idea, it's a long leader. And yeah, that catches a lot of fish that I won't have to change that leader now until I get stuck in a tree again. But uh, yeah, I think five years I've been using fluorocarbon. I've only had to change it three times, I think, from damage from fish. So yeah, that's, um, that's that. Obviously, if you don't want to tie direct, same way I crimped the snap onto the other one, you can crimp the snap on one end and a swivel on the other. Like I say, I'll leave links in the descriptions to the swivels, the snaps, everything like that, but yeah. Solid leaders. Tie that directly to your main line with the swivel if you're into swivels, and yeah, perfect. You can make the leaders as long as you want, as short as you want, um, and get fishing. There's also, before I go, if you're on the bank, you wanna get back fishing if you just broke off, you don't wanna tie the FG knot straight away, you can do Another knot, well there's probably a few knots, but this is another knot that I like to do anyway. Um, sort of an improvised Albright knot. So I'll show you guys that one quickly as well. So, take your leader, fold it over, probably take an inch or so, fold it over, take your braided main line, through the hole, of the, through the loop that you've made there. Pull a good length of that through, and then I'm gonna go around that 10 times. I'm gonna go back over five times. And 
and then back through the loop so both lines are coming through the same side there we go. Both lines come through the same side of that loop. Moisten it. Just gonna pull that tight there. And that's this is the knot I used to use most of the time to be fair. It's a solid little knot. The only problem with this knot is when you cut your tag end. Even if you cut it super close, you can't cast that through your rod rings. I mean, you can, but it. Uh, oh, you see how see how it's doubled over and it's thick. That doesn't yeah doesn't cast well through rod rings. But yeah, super super strong knot. You won't break that knot. Um, and yeah, that's the alternate version. If you're on the bank, you don't want to tie the FG. Or if you don't want to tie the FG anyway, that's another strong knot you can do. So yeah. I hope that's helped some guys out. Um, I'm happy that I've got a new leader on my rod now. That'll last me a while. Um, like I say, the new LMA B fluorocarbon, super, super strong stuff. Um, and it's a good price for fluorocarbon as well. And fluorocarbon's not really that readily available in the one mil size in this country. So yeah, I'll leave links in the description to that. I'll leave links to the snaps, the crimps, crimping pliers and stuff like that as well in the description. And yeah, hope that's helped some of you guys out. I'm going to go fishing now, hopefully catch something on my new leader, but yeah, that's it, so catch you guys in the next video.